Hey guys, it's Doris from Look Amazing, and I'm back to share with you guys my pregnancy skincare and body favorites, which is something you guys had requested. And sorry it's taken me a while to film it for you, but I do have all the products with me here, and a lot of them have now become empties because I did use them all up during my pregnancy, but I saved them to show you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, and if you guys do have any questions, definitely let me know down below. Since I was pregnant mostly through the fall and winter months, I really focused on skincare products that would be really moisturizing for my skin and a group of those products all contained honey. And I have done a separate video on the benefits of honey and propolis, so if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. But I'm just going to highlight my favorite ones for pregnancy here. For exfoliation, I really loved using the Skin Food Black Sugar Honey Mask Wash Off. So I went with something a little bit more on the physical side rather than a chemical exfoliator because I wanted something more natural and the black sugar crystals do a great job at exfoliating away the dead skin cells but the plus is the honey that's also included did a really nice job at moisturizing my skin so you kind of get a two-in-one. My favorite moisturizer is the one by Vanilla Co. This is the Miss Flower and Mr. Honey Cream. And I've talked about this one before in probably a few of my favorites videos but I just really love the balm-like texture and also once you apply it on it doesn't feel heavy at all but really nice and moisturizing and also not sticky and just in general I loved honey based products because it did I noticed I didn't break out as much because honey does have natural antibacterial properties and I just wanted to avoid breakouts as much as possible because you can't use a lot of the products like salicylic acid. My last honey product is the Honey Ceramide Eye Cream by Casarex. Love the texture of this one as well. It's lightweight, but very nice and moisturizing. And it's something that I also used under my concealer during the day, so something that you can use for both day and night. If I wanted something a little bit thicker and creamier, I loved using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, another natural product that really helped keep the under eye area moisturized, but also didn't feel sticky or heavy at all. For those of you guys who have watched my skincare videos know that I have a fairly long skincare routine, but there were definitely some days where I only had enough energy to put on one product, and that typically was either a serum or an oil. So my favorite serum is the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate, and this does have anti-aging benefits, so it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, and uneven skin texture and tone and overall I just also love the way it moisturized and gave me a very nice glow. My favorite oil is the one by Trilogy. This is the organic rosehip oil and when I was researching oils that would be good for pregnancy I came across this because it mentioned that Kate Middleton had used it for her pregnancy so I wanted to try it and I really loved it because it's really nice and lightweight, has anti-aging properties and is very moisturizing as well. For sunscreens I stayed away from chemical sunscreens and mainly used physical or mineral ones and for the face my favorite one was the one from Aven. This is their ultra light hydrating sunscreen lotion. So I thought it was nice and hydrating but the favorite part is that it's really nice and sheer so you can layer it under your makeup. Also it does have SPF 50 and it didn't have a heavy white cast like most physical sunscreens did so yeah one of my top favorite ones that I've also used after pregnancy. For my baby moon I was out in the sun for quite a Bit. So for my body, I loved using the Bare Republic Natural Mineral Sunscreen. This is a sport one. It does have SPF 50 and it was one of the few where I didn't have to sit there and just keep rubbing the sunscreen in. It just absorbed really nice and quickly and it didn't feel like I was wearing sunscreen and surprisingly it also doesn't smell like that sunscreen smell. So really love this one and have continued using it after pregnancy and throughout the summer. So it was my first time trying something from this brand so I'll definitely probably go back for more. My favorite body wash is the one from L'Occitane. This is their almond shower oil and I repurchased this so many times that I finally purchased the big refill. I just think it's such a great combination of both cleansing and moisturizing. I don't feel the need to apply lotion to my body after using this and also it smells amazing too. And I did apply extra oil for the belly area, which I will get to very soon, but overall I just really, really love this one. I still use it right now. For exfoliating the body, I loved using the Herbivore Coca Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish, 
and I would use this probably every three days just to pamper myself a little bit and the coconut oil was really nice and moisturizing and also it smells amazing because it has a nice hint of rose as well. I also wanted to mention my favorite natural deodorant because I did stay away from ones with aluminum and I really love the one by Kai. I found it to be one of the more effective ones out of the natural deodorants and also the smell is a very subtle floral smell and I was just super sensitive to heavy floral smells especially during my first trimester and this was one of the few that didn't bother me. And now on to the pregnancy specific body oils that I use to help minimize itching as well as stretch marks and I did try a variety of them and I just picked a few of my favorite ones here. I would have to say my all-time favorite is the bio oil. I did repurchase this several times throughout my pregnancy. It is definitely more on the heavier side so it did do a really great job at moisturizing and also it has puracellin which is great for improving the appearance of scars and stretch marks and also for very dehydrated skin and I just thought it was a great affordable option and very easy to pick up at my drugstore and it's something that I mainly used at night because it was on the oilier side. It did get onto my clothes, so it's a great one, but I also used a different one for the daytime. For the daytime, I really loved using the ones from Clarence. This is the Tonic Body Treatment Oil. This one is made from 100% pure plant extracts. This one is for firming and toning, and I just thought the smell was quite pleasant and also the oil absorbed quickly into the skin. I also liked using the one from Belly. This is a pregnancy specific line, and it's their Elasticity Belly Oil, so it has stretch mark protection with vitamin E, go to cola and lavender oil, so it has a very nice and soothing scent to it. And the cream that I used a lot during the day is the one from Mama Mio, which is another pregnancy specific skincare brand and it's their The Tummy Rub Butter, and I just thought this was a great moisturizing one, and it also has a very nice refreshing scent. And that's it for my pregnancy skincare and body favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and also for those of you guys who have gone through pregnancy or are pregnant, definitely let me know what your favorites are down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!